Hi Harmony and other people. Um, how's it going? How are you occupying your time with all these restrictions? Um, you can probably see how I occupy my time. Yes, I take old clocks to pieces. Great fun. So if you've got an old clock, and everybody's got an old clock that needs cleaning up, I might be able to help. I want to take you back, if you were at Harmony a couple of weeks back, to the song that we played right at, that was played to us right at the end of the service when peace like a river attendeth my soul with the chorus it is well with my soul fantastic song timeless it was sung by on this rendering by musicians in nashville and they couldn't be all together in a group so they're all doing it in their homes and you see how it's put together it's lovely to watch it fantastic meaningful you'll probably need some tissues if you've got any because it's a bit of a tearjerker do you know how that song came to be written it was written in the 1870s by a guy called horatio spafford american and he was in chicago and he had to send his wife and his daughters over to europe he was hoping to go with them um, but he was delayed with his work in Chicago, so he sent his wife and his daughters ahead on the ship. Sadly, before the ship arrived, it was in collision with another ship, and it sank. His wife survived and was picked up. His four daughters were lost. He later went on another ship to go to be with his distraught wife. Over the start, the story goes that over the spot where the actual collision took place, the captain told him when they were there, that is when and where he wrote this song, It Is Well With My Soul. If you haven't heard this song, you can find it on YouTube. At least I found it on YouTube afterwards. I just put in um, It Is Well With My Soul, Nashville, and it came up. You'll enjoy it. I admire his faith in the midst of unbearable loss. But I want to go beyond the emotion and the admiration to think about, is there any truth in these words? What were the words that he put into writing, into this song? Because a guy like that deserves a hearing. He's been through it. And if this song is born out of that experience, wow, there's something for us here. And I believe there is, there's a lot. He said, Jesus regarded my helpless estate. There was something in him that knew that God was not desert, deserting him. But Jesus knew what was going on. That seemed to be a comfort. He knew that his sin and guilt were dealt with. Wow, that's quite something. He felt hope for the present. And he seemed to be saying, whatever he faced, whatever my lot... It is well with my soul. He had hope for the future. It's Easter. And he sang in this song about his sin being nailed to the cross and bearing it no more. Are you confident of that truth? Are you free from guilt? Because you can be. You see, in this time of distancing and isolation, it's good to remember that Jesus suffered distancing and isolation so that we might not suffer that, spiritually speaking. Are you finding it hard to be at peace with your present circumstances? It is a struggle, isn't it? Are you confident of your future with God? That's a question to ponder. Are you living with that inner unexplainable but real sense of wellness and peace in your soul in your innermost being the author's peace seemed to be rooted in the fact of being forgiven because of the cross one of the main themes of easter you and i are forgiven because of the cross when we put our faith in jesus I don't know what it's like to lose four daughters. It must be absolutely awful. I do know what it's like to lose a son. And I can say from my experience that these words stack up. 
They're not just psychological props or pious myths. There's truth, there's reality there. They have power to sustain because God has power to sustain in loss. If Horatio could find wellness in his tragedy, perhaps we can do the same in our circumstances, which, let's face it, are not quite so extreme as his. But they're unpleasant. There's worry, there's fear, there's anxiety, there's, there's wondering about the future. Can you say, it is well with my soul? Have a listen to that song and ponder that. If it's before Easter still, happy Easter. If you see this after Easter, I hope you had a happy Easter. And let's all hope that this distancing doesn't go on for too much more. <laughs>